All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me get my uh, microphone on and get everything set. Testing, testing. One, two, three. All right. This is Plan Your Greatness. I am your gracious host, Carlton Hamilton. Let's get started. As I just said, my name is Carlton Hamilton, Carlton Byron Hamilton. I am a business owner. I am an author. And as you can tell, I'm a motivational speaker. But I'm really not here to motivate you. I'm here because I had the pleasure of meeting your vice president of sales, Jared Jackson, in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, on our way to the airport, we had a brief conversation, but I asked him this very powerful question. I said, Jared, how do you know who to bring on board and what things are you looking for? And he paused for a second, but he gave a beautiful response. And what that did it reminded me of my experience that I had when I left the game of baseball, I enrolled at Arizona State University and for a semester I worked for the Courtyard Marriott at a small hotel in downtown Tempe, Arizona. Learned some valuable things about the industry and gained some wonderful experience and some skills. And there were some things that really stuck out to me and it motivated me to make this video. And so I was doing this for Jared and I'm doing it for all you that are coming on board. Now, it's obvious to know that the reason why you're watching this video is because you have the experience, you have the energy, and you have the attitude that they're looking for. But these, are, there are a couple of, couple of little small things that you wanna make sure that you're aware of as you come on board that's gonna help you get up to speed and become an asset for the company. All right. First and foremost, as you are coming on board, know your job. Sounds very simple. Yes. Know your job. Know all the intricacies about that job and try to get to that level as fast as possible. Now, the second part is why is it important for you to know your job and to get up to speed as quickly as possible for some obvious reasons? First and foremost, you don't have to have the strict supervision overlooking you to make sure you're not making any mistakes and have a customer have a horrible experience. Number two is that if you are taking into account some of the basic things that you need to know about your job, you're going to be able to answer some of these very simple questions like, uh, is there a restaurant nearby for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? You can give recommendations. Maybe the guest needs uh, dry cleaners. You can make a recommendation. Maybe the guest forgot a birthday or an anniversary, you can recommend a flower shop nearby. Or maybe there's a store or a 24 hour pharmacy. See, these are very basic questions that you need to know when you come on board, all right? Now, the third thing is, and I think this is very powerful because it sets the tone as far as your attitude. And I'm bringing this from my sports background because when you're playing at a very high level, because I played for almost a decade. So you're playing against the elite of the elite of the elite. So what's separating you two or all of you from the other athletes is your attitude. So what's going to separate you from other employees is your attitude. OK, so I used to tell myself every day before I shift. I said, Carlton, you are having the greatest day today. Present tense. See, I'm having. And then when I got there, and when I start looking or interacting with guests, I would say in my head, Carlton, every guest that you that interacts with you is going to ha be having the greatest experience that they've had at, at this property. Because you know what that does? And I think neuroscience, it creates what is called an elevated emotional experience. That experience creates a response. That response makes their experience memorable. And in this industry, it's all about making memories memorable because then they will refer people to your property and then they will write great reviews. So that's that's what you that's what it's all about at that point. Now, understand that guests have three very basic uh, expectations. One, they want a fast, correct, courteous check in. Real simple. Just get it right. Next. When they get to their room, they want their room to be clean. OK, the, the sleeping area and the bathroom area. They don't want any surprises when they get there. And thirdly, when they have a question, they want you to be able to address it. 
resolve it in a timely fashion with a big old smile on your face. All right. So welcome aboard. Thank you all for watching this video and have a great day every day. And you know what? I look forward to seeing you all soon. Ooh. Guys, take care.